Well, another week, another person whose livelihood is being targeted for supporting Donald Trump. The left-wing focus group, protest group, rather, Grab Your Wallet, is calling for a boycott of the apparel company L.L. Bean because board member Lind Bean, the granddaughter of the founder of L.L. Bean, donated to a pro-Trump super PAC. Well, earlier we showed the varied response to Donald Trump, tweeting, quote, Thank you to Linda Bean of L.L. Bean for your great support and courage. People will support you even more now by L.L. Bean. Linda Bean joins us now from New York. Linda, it's great to meet you. Thank you, Tucker. I, I, had, I had dinner at your restaurant Sunday night in Portland, as I have 100 times before, best lobster rolls I've ever had. So I'm just going to admit my bias right up front. I'm a fan of yours and your restaurant. Thank um, you. But I also like L.L. Bean because in a poor state, it's one of the biggest employers in yes. Maine. It's, I think it's the fifth biggest employer in the entire state. What effect could a boycott like this have on employment in the state? We have a very thin population in Maine, a million point three. Uh, our jobs are very precious, and as they are in every state. And we're all about job creation right now. This is a big thing in the, in the United States. We need to get it back. We need to keep what we have and build on it. And I see these boycotters uh, taking the opposite tack. They want to tear down jobs and do away with job creation. And it's very destructive and very unwelcome. So let's go to your crime for a second. I mean, some boycotts are legitimate. But the, mm -hmm. the point of this boycott appears to be to punish anybody who supported Donald Trump. So that's more than 60 million Americans. Did you do something beyond giving money to a Trump-supporting group? Is there another crime that we're not aware of that has earned <laughs> you this boycott? Well, uh, you know, the, the ability to, to, for myself, speaking for myself personally, uh, the freedom, the liberty to support a candidate, to vote for a candidate of your choice is precious. It's something that we enjoy in our country, and our Constitution protects us. Our Constitution has been around longer than any in the world. It's lasted all that time, over 200 years. And to trash it, to burn our flag, to do the things that we see happening uh, now that are shocking to us, uh, I think it's got to stop. And I'm thrilled that the president-elect is wanting to do something about it. So I went on the website of the group that's organizing this boycott, and they describe L.L. Bean, the company, as, quote, supportive of Donald Trump. Is that a mischaracterization? Has L.L. Bean come out and endorsed Donald Trump? Uh, no. Uh, it makes no political endorsements. Uh, it has made no uh, political contributions. Uh, this is a very big policy, and one I'm a strong advocate of that on the board, that we, knew, we never do that. So I'm speaking for myself here. It was my contribution to a PAC that supported uh, signs and, and um, TV in Maine. It was a national PAC, uh, but it was for use in the state of Maine, my home state, because yep. uh, it was after the general election uh, nominated uh, Donald Trump, and we saw signage disparities. There weren't, uh, we felt there was a lot of vandalism and we needed to replace a lot of signs. We needed to increase a lot of signs to get our candidate out there. The Republican Party was very active in Maine and did a great job. And then our governor's wife, Anne LePage, uh, wanted to make a statement of her endorsement. Uh, and so we raised money and through the PAC to put her yeah. on television. So that's it. You wanted to buy TV spots and road signs, mm -hmm. and for that crime, a company that you do not run, you're on the board of directors, but you don't Correct. run L.L. Bean, Correct. that employs thousands of people in one of the poorest states in the nation, that company is the subject of a boycott just because of your personal political views. Correct. I have my own companies, and it's surprising to me that they're not, not attacking my businesses. You see, they well, found a big And you know, they never, and if I can just say, they would never do that, <laughs> because I'm not exaggerating. If you haven't had, I shouldn't be shilling for you, but I can't control myself. The Linda Bean lobster roll takes lobster rolls to a different level. I don't know what you put in those. Um, I just <laughs> had the big one the other night. Ugh, it's unbelievable. <laughs> Thank Linda you Bean, for that. You're, you're a culinary hero, <laughs> if nothing else, and also a great spokeswoman for free speech. Thanks a lot for coming on. Thank you, Tucker.